Okay, we're just going to take a look at how to do Reynard Fox's head. So first of all, take a look at your pattern piece. It's very important. There are two dots here that you need to make sure you mark on your felt when you've cut it out. You'll notice these two solid lines as well. And you need to just cut those. So follow that line directly to the dot and this line here directly to the dot so that you end up with a piece like this. OK, so that's the hair, the, the, the head piece. I'm just doing concentrating on the ear. You will have put the little white uh, muslin and whatever yourself. I'm using two, two. I'm using a black ear and a white ear just so just for contrast so you can clearly see what happens in the pattern piece. And just to come back in the cutting out as well, you'll notice on the ear, on the pattern, there's a notch in the centre. Now, I would suggest cutting that out, outwards, rather than inwards, as I have done here. And that will just have that's important for matching when you sew it up. Don't forget when you do the ear to trim the seam allowance, the top of the ear, it'll help to get a better shape. Give it a little bit of a, a roll. So that the, the fox colour, as you will have it, will be more dominant on the underside. Now, I, I think it's a really good idea to have the two fox heads when you're doing it. Nose is touching, face and repeat each action. Because then you'll make sure that the, the ears are facing the right direction. So we're ready now. So we have our ear made, we have our pattern piece cut and marked with the dots. Inner ear, which is the white, down onto the headpiece and just match the notches with the tip of that inverted V there and put a little pin in it. Wrap this extension around so that the tip of that matches the tip on the underside of your fox's head. And pin it. Now you'll notice that you have the ear and that's correct. The ear should be extended by about, apologies there, by about a half a centimetre. And what you're going to do now is sew like it's a dart. Sew it like it's a dart. So you're going to reverse start and reverse finish. So to make sure it's secure. OK, so that is correct. That little extension out there is correct. And that will happen on both sides. We're going to do each side of the ear separately. Start and finish securely. And then exactly the same with the second side. Maneuver it around so that the tip matches the tip and you have a little bit of an ear extension. Now you might just have to do a little bit of maneuvering back and front just to make sure they're they're even. But that's basically the so you're matching those and again reverse start and finish to secure the ends. <clears throat> I'll just trim off my threads there. Okay, so when you open it now, you, you might, it might happen that one side of the felt has stretched a little bit on the ear, but just, just trim it to match. The next thing you have to do is just take those, that little seam there, you're going to have like a little seam. It's over sew those to finish. That's the little head piece between, that's going to be between the ears. So you do notice mine is just a little bit stretched, so I'm just going to trim that just to match. It's just a sliver. And you would over sew those, same on the other side of the ear, and that's what gives you 
and the head is stuffed, that's what will give you that lovely fox ear, um, that little fox ear shape. So I hope that's some help to you. Good luck.